Two new flying cameras have been announced by Hover Air. Watch to find out what we know about these new drones. The upcoming release of the DJI NEO with its 4K camera has definitely put the pressure on Hover Air. The X1, with its 2.7K camera and higher price, simply was not going to be able to keep up in this suddenly competitive market niche. Hover Air has apparently been working hard behind the scenes to meet this challenge. They've announced the upcoming release of two new products the Hover Air X1 Pro and the Hover Air X1 Pro Max. An upcoming video will focus on the features of the Pro Max as they haven't been released yet. This video is going to focus on the new X1 Pro. As you can see in this graphic here, there are a number of new and better features for this new version of the Hover Air. Most significantly and importantly, a 4K camera that can film in 60 frames per second, or 120 frames per second at 1080p resolution. This new camera has a larger sensor as well, coming in at about half an inch, coupled with a 17 millimeter wide lens. There are a number of other changes as well. The top speed of the drone has been increased as well, now up to 42 kilometers an hour with what they call an instantaneous tracking speed up to 60 kilometers per hour. This should definitely help for the cyclists, e-scooter and other enthusiasts out there that found the X1 was having difficulty keeping up to them. The omni-terrain feature indicates it will handle more diverse terrain, including flying over water. The new drone also has increased flight time of 16 minutes per battery with its new 1920 milliamp hour battery. At 192 grams, this new camera drone is a wee bit heavier than the original X1's 125 grams, but still well under the 250 gram limit for many countries without the drone being registered and without a pilot certificate. Probably as significant as the camera upgrade though, this new drone has rear and side collision avoidance. This should really help those shots for those of you that do a lot of activity in thick woods or areas with lots of other obstacles. Good on you for including this hover air. To finish up the list of features, the new drone has a maximum altitude of 5,500 meters and a wind resistance of level 5, which should definitely help it cope with those windy days, of which we get plenty here in southern Alberta. I don't have any information right now on pricing or packages, but I can well imagine that in order to stay competitive with DJI's new NEO, it's going to hover, see what I did there? right around the same price point. That's what we know so far. As soon as I can manage to get my hands on one of these, I will do a full review. And once more information is released on the apparently premium version of the new Hover Air, the X1 Pro Max, I'll do another video letting you know about that one. As always, if you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you could help me out in return by clicking those buttons down there. Thanks for watching, happy flying, and we'll see you next time.